Hi, welcome to my studio. My name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. And on this video, I'm just covering a little bit about colour because I know lots of beginners are getting very confused at the beginning of their drawings or paintings, but drawings especially, they just don't know what colours to pick out their sets. They may have sets of 100, 200, 300 colours and they're getting really confused. So what you need is a base of uh, colours, the basic colours to make a good foundation. So in this video, that's what I'm going to cover, how to get those first colours picked. So I've done videos before showing the colour picker tool in Photoshop or in uh, Pixlr and other things, free programs. So I'm not going to show a lot about that, but this is what I would suggest they do when they get perhaps an image such as this bird. If you just go image canvas size and then I'll change it to pixels and you need this little relative box ticked as well. Now the width, because of this image size or relative to this image size, I'm going to select something like 300 pixels. And then I'm just going to say OK. And because it's set as a background layer and this canvas extension color is set to white here, when I go OK, I'm going to get some nice white borders on there. So I'm selecting the brush tool and then when I come across, I push Alt on the keyboard and hold it down and it changes to a color picker. Then when I push the left mouse button, you can see it's selecting the color that I'm hovering over. So for instance, I'm looking at colors, the major colors in this drawing or painting, whatever it's going to be. So I'm looking at that blue and then I can drag that color out, put it on my white dot by here. I'm going to look at the orange, so hold down Alt, left click, selected it, and then drag that out. I can look at it going a bit more yellowy down here. I can drag that out, perhaps the wing, a general color of the wing. There, perhaps it's very vibrant yellow, yellow here. Drag that over. So I'm just selecting, you know, rough, rough colors. I don't have to select everything, just major colors that's going to be on there. It's going to be almost a black. It's pretty much just a white, so I don't need to be concerned about that. Perhaps I want to look at a background color or two. And what it's giving me is just some general colors that's making up this drawing or this photograph. Perhaps the light blew up here. So, okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colors plus the black and white. What I would do now is go over to my colored pencils or my pan pastels or my pastels and look for these colors. So rather than grabbing my set of 200 pencils over or something like that, I can start with these. So if I'm doing pan pastels, for instance, I'll drag these out. These are going to be my major colors for blocking in. And I think that's going to get people off to a good start. Then once they block those in and you've got a nice realistic drawing or painting come in, then you can look at all the little refining colors, all the little nuances that's in between these major colors. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Here's a red panda I photographed a while back. So if I go image, canvas size, make sure that relative here is clicked, change it to pixels or points. I'll do 300 again. Remember it's white at the bottom, it's a background image. And then when I click OK, I'll have the white borders again. Once again, I've got the brush selected. This size is 41, but you can select whatever suitable for your uh, particular photograph. Alt, held down, changes to a little eyedropper. Click it to select. So that's one of the darker browns. If I click by here, you see how it alters when I move it? That's gonna be more of the highlights. See, even the whites are not really white, and this is what gives you a good base to start with. 
So that's that side done. Over here, so well, let's let's do a one of these colours too there. So it's not all the rich oranges that you you may think. Over here, I could look at the nose. Look at that highlight on the nose. It's blue. Right over on this side, I can look at these reddish colours. Perhaps this white here. Perhaps the brown of the eye and some of these richer tones that are here and just generally picking out the major colors again so it's really that quick and I think that help was going to help people to make a good start rather than look at the whole set and not know what to do now of course you could work from your screen or your tablet if you've got that over by your, your drawing board or you could print it out but if you're going to print it out you need it doesn't got to be an expensive printer but make sure you use decent paper because that's what's going to make the difference and you want it pretty much to match your screen so you may have to alter your color settings on your printer a little to get that done so hopefully that's going to help people make a good foundation and a good start before they start adding all the details and getting confused with lots of different colors. If you're looking for even more great art sources, I've really got you covered. First off, I've got a Patreon channel. It's been going well over a year or so, packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long, so you can see they're really, really in-depth. Subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, it's on there. So that's my Patreon channel. And also on that Patreon channel, before I go on to something else, I've got a secret Facebook group. So only the members are actually on there. It's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen. I know I'm biased, but it really is. We've got uh, four or 500 members on there and they all help each other. So that's a great added bonus that comes free with it. Also you get line art every month as well and we've just designed a brand new companion website for it so if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects, I've got some of those too. I've got 900 plus on my website, wildlifeart-online.com. And they will be copyright free for you. So you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever. So hope you like those extra resources and I'll see you all again real soon.